scoreboard. And as you can see from the Chinese girls' reaction, that one blown call, in our opinion, of the referee or the line judge changes the complexion of this first set as we get a chance to see the long shot by Wong Lin Ah. They go to her to try and get the momentum back as she sails it past the back row. So Hu Jen using a timeout to calm the Chinese down, rattled the last couple of points. And we are tied 22 all. And the Dutch clearly enjoying the momentum. The center Fletteros with her second serve. Excuse me, that's actually her fourth serve. Fisted over, not yeah. for the Chinese. Oh, wow, Wu Yong Mei should have had a beat on it. Yeah, it looks like she lost her footing there, slipped on a wet spot or just got tangled up. Went up to try and dig it up. We're going to get another timeout here by China. Went absolutely nowhere. So China finds himself staring down at the abyss. When just a moment ago, Sean, it seems like they had everything in control. We're going to get a chance to see this play again. Good hustle by the Dutch. Now watch this. You see the slip. Her right foot sliding on that right sideline, going down and not getting enough elevation on the ball to have it saved. And on the replay, it looked like Wu Yang Mei forced to play that ball. At first, she thought it was going to go out, but then when apparently it was going to drop on the line, she had to make a play. By then, too late, Netherlands within two of taking the first set. Oh. That's the hit that you need, huh? That's the counter. Big equalizer there in the person of Wu Yang Mei. 23 up. Remember, you must win by two in these rally sets. From behind the attack line, That's drops in. in. Yes. That's in. I was just about to say, great serve under pressure by the youngster, Zhao. Set point. You hear the crowd unhappy here at the Macau Forum. Merritt Lindstra with the serve. Short set, Flederus sends it up. This will be left for rank, takes it the other way. And the Chinese are gonna get it back. Majuvak thought about arguing and then wisely backed off. Well, China doing a great job of pursuit that time on the blocking in of it, scooting the two blockers over there in tandem. Dutch, of course, claiming there was a touch. Chinese have a free oh, yeah. line. They pick it up. Now they have a set point. Wu Yan Mei that time going over circling from the, her left position. She's going to get a timeout from the Netherlands. But under pressure, Grace under fire, as you will, going behind the setter, lurching up in the front court. Chi knowing exactly where it was going to be, where her teammate was going to be. You get a nice chance to see the replay here. Great little first touch, back set, boom. Sending it home. One of those instances by the Dutch girls, they knew what was going on, but could not get over there in time to do anything about it. And remember, the Chinese continue to do this without Sun Yue. You saw her handing out the towels. So we're beginning to suspect an injury keeping her out of this match. There can really be no other logical explanation. Yeah, we were not told anything before the match, so. Set point for China. Oh. A huge shot. The libero didn't have a play on it. In the middle, Chain Stalins. She has really shored up the Dutch attack. She certainly has. That's three kills, and she's had most interestingly from all port points on the court from the right, center, and left. Wong. That ball a little too fat. Stalins. Touch shot. Nice hustle there by Wu to keep it going. Wang Li Na. Dink shot. Netherlands have four women inside the attack line. Going long, but was it touched? Yes. 26-25, second set point for Team Netherlands. Yeah, and we saw a couple of these timeouts. Even when China was down by five or six points, no worry in their camp. You can bet that's changed now. Wong, Flederos keeps it going. Dropping inside. Wang Li Na, a second effort. Knotted up at 26 here in set one. Yeah, just getting her hand up there in time right before the Dutch girl did, slapping it down. Oh, 
Opening set has evolved into a furious battle here. Lemferink snuffed out by the Chinese. Oh, the solo blocking. Outstanding here from China in set number one. Now that's pressure. Solo blocking up against solo hitting. Never taking her eye off the ball. Extend extension of those arms. Perfect block. Butter ups for Stalins. Finds the floor at the feet of Chu Ai Hua. She has no fear, does number nine. Well, she doesn't. And the accuracy of these hits by the Dutch girls, slumping a little bit, now going back up to the level that it was at the beginning of the set. It's a serve sails long. So opening the door, it's a jar for the Chinese now. Hu Jin comes right up to the sideline to talk to the Chinese ladies. Another set point. The Bureau up for Flatterhouse. Here's Stalins. China sent two blockers over to cover the 18-year-old. She is playing like a veteran. And Stalins taking a little bit off of the hit that time, sacrificing a little bit of power for accuracy, threading the needle between the two blocks. Going to serve them into a set Terrible point, and touch. they're going to get it. Terrible first touch. Floating serve, fooling the Chinese. Set point here. Jane Stalins. No matter which way it goes, she has had a superb opening set. That goes wide, so China catches a break. That's two points over the last three they've generated on just a missed serve. Yeah, they had just when they uh, had the match wrapped up. I mean, get the get the ball and play. Number one rule of volleyball. Flutterhouse. That was for Machuvak. Zhu Yanying extended herself. Dutch continue to apply pressure. You got to admire these these Dutch girls. I mean, they're going up and challenging much more experienced players. World number two team in the world. Just taking them on one on one, and so far very successful. Li Yan forced to play a deep ball. We get our first extended rally in a while. Block back, yes. and it goes out. Netherlands take set one, 31-29. You're not gonna find a much better played set than that from the Dutch perspective, just playing, in my opinion, way above their heads, but all it takes is two or three more games like this and think of the confidence that it's gonna give them. We get a chance to see it again. That's how it finished. So the Netherlands surprisingly lead by one set to none. But uh, they, they hung in there. So watch for a more focused China in the second set. They're certainly going to need to be because this team is not going to roll over and die. Lin Wenzhen attacking from the left side. Now she is serving with China up one zip. Nice rotation there by the Dutch. Irina Machubak coming over from the middle to the far right. China didn't send a blocker with her. No, they didn't. Netherlands showed uh, attack from the left-hand side and quickly changed it. Well-coached team. Back in the Netherlands. Back in the Netherlands. It's been the men's side that's had the greater glory. They are the defending Olympic champions, beating the Italian men's squad in Atlanta back in 1996. Another unforced error that time by China. Trying to target the big girl number eight there, Zhao. Jin calling an early timeout. Doesn't like the trend here at the beginning of set two. Yeah, I mean, they're giving away just too many points. They're not doing anything to get their offense started. And obviously, I think Sean missing Sun Yue, who we have not seen yet for whatever reason. But they just seem to be out of sync without her in there. The Dutch women, to pick up on the earlier point, haven't really done a lot on the international scene. Go back to 1995, they were the European champions defeating Russia to do so. But since then, they finished sixth at the 97 World Volleyball Grand Prix. They did not compete in the 98 edition of the WVGP at the World Championships last year in Japan, finishing seventh. And they had to beat the Japanese to stay out of the eighth slot. Oh, 
There, Merritt Leenstra with a spinning shot. Not a lot of velocity on it, but well placed. Yeah, and I, th I think you've got to hand it to these Dutch girls. They are doing what is necessary. They're willing to sacrifice the power for accuracy, and they're finding creases in the Chinese uh, back row in particular. We've learned now that Sun Yue sitting out of this one. She has a bad knee. So that injury preventing her from playing, and they could have used her in set one. From behind oh, the boy. attack line, Zhao. At 1.97 meters, not easy to get down in time. No, it isn't. We just saw some of the power there by that left-hander again. Left rink. Zhu Yun Ying setting the table for Wu Yang Mei. Good elevation for number five. Well, with Sun Yue out of the match, making that official, number five, Wu Yang Mei will have to step up. Serve way out. Serve goes long. Point for the Dutch. I think really that's one of the big benefits of the rally point system. A missed serve results in a point. When you watch volleyball in the past, this serves got to the point of annoyance, didn't it? It, it certainly did. And some of these matches were being uh, drawn way out of proportion to the, even the score. I mean, I don't know how many times, Sean, you and I have covered games where it's 13 to 2, and it takes nearly an hour for the game to get finished, or the, for the set to get finished. On an angle coming in from a side. Now Zhu for Wu. Dutch extending each and every rally. Block there, oh yeah, Jane Stallings and Merritt Leenstra teaming up to deny Wu Yang Mei. I mean, Stallings is everywhere. The blocking in, helping out on defense. She's even uh, had a part of a couple second touches. Spiking on both sides of the court. There's that girl, Wu Yang Mei, the one who will have to step up. Her and Chu are gonna have to carry the brunt of this Chinese offense. I think it's a little bit much to ask of number eight, Zhao, to do anything now. Two service errors here in the second set for the Chinese. The Dutch in control here in the second set. What an Ujin upset this would be. Use the technical timeout to try and get the Chinese women regrouped. We'll take a break. You're watching the Grand Prix on ESPN. Italians in surprisingly easy fashion, straight sets. Well, that time from the left side, you saw Chu winding it up, and they're going to need a lot from her. Problem immediately that you see without Sun Yue in the lineup is. China has become a little bit one-dimensional. They really have nobody on that right side to take over the attack. Therefore, the Dutch girls can concentrate all their blocking muscle on the left-hand side in the middle, almost ignoring that right side, unless somebody on the Chinese team can step up. Back setting there. The attacker was out of position, so an opportunity presents itself for the Chinese. And they capitalize. Catching the Dutch girls on the other side, the opposite side. They had the double blocking there, but caught them both flat-footed. Dummies well and just dinks it over their heads. High floating serve. That may have been heading out. Certainly looked it. Shane Stallings sends it down the middle. Blocked back. China forced to defend. Touch shot there, beautifully placed from Chu Ai Hua. So that's two in a row. Now that's an option that they could utilize on that right side. The Dutch girl's full of confidence at the net. So to negate that, you've got to back them off the net, just dump a few over their heads and create that space in close to the net where you can drop some spikes in. And a spike like that from Merritt Leenstra will back the Chinese off the net. Dutch into double figures. Great set, the length of the net. Off the southpaw, Lee Yan, the libero. Oh, Plays yes. it, Zhao. 